I want to talk about why I make Cornell boxes and how I got started. Um, I actually got started in 1998 because I was doing cabaret and I wanted to decorate my dressing room and I decided to decorate my dressing room with the text from the story, the Berlin stories, to kind of stay uh, in the character. <laughs> and uh, so I wallpapered my entire room with text from Berlin stories. I took pages and I Xeroxed them and I dyed them in tea and coffee, different colors, and um, it was gorgeous. And so I was kind of living in a giant box. And then, um, uh, who was it? Jennifer Jason Lee and John Hickey were leaving the cast and I wanted to make them a farewell gift, a very nice farewell gift. And so I made them a book, a goodbye book. I took an old novel or an old book and I... Um, took a photograph of everybody in the cast holding a picture that said goodbye and then I Xeroxed the photographs and then pasted them into the book so every time you took a page and it was very strange and it was kind of a weird idea and it was after that that I got the idea to make the boxes I had read a William Gibson novel a long time ago and had heard about a computer in the sky making boxes and I was so taken with the idea and then I actually saw Cornell boxes at the museum. Um, I guess it was in Chicago. They have a lot of them, and there were some at the Whitney. And I just thought they were beautiful, and I can't draw, so I thought, well, maybe I can make boxes. And so I started making them, and um, yeah, that's the history of the boxes, I think.